What is up guys? <laughs> Welcome back to a brand new episode of ARK and the Gaming Evolved Vanilla with Sprinkle server. And uh, we just got back from a metal run. <laughs> we have this Anki, he is completely full. We have a little bit left on the Quetzal as well, we get some crystal too. Um, I just wanted to kind of bring you guys through some of the process. I just thought right now it might be a great time to bring you guys back. How much do we have in here? Okay, let me grab out all this crap. And I'll take out all this too. Um, I want to transfer all this metal over into my replicator. No, we got wood in there. What do we got in here? Oh, we got more gas. I didn't know I actually had gas in this side. I actually made up some more at one point. Anyway, um, I have a couple little things to say here. You may kind of notice that the frames are a lot better. The visuals are a lot better and you want to know why? Because I got a brand new graphics card and this thing is beefy. I got a MSI 1080 Ti, <laughs> which is like ridiculously good. It was so expensive, but it's gonna make a world of difference here. Oh, I gotta go with this one. This is called a transfer gun, by the way. It's part of S Plus. Let me just hop over here and we'll just transfer all this stuff in. So you pretty much set a source and then you just tap and it transfers all in. We should have all that good stuff in here. Why am I not running, by the way? Is it because I have this thing or is it because I had that out? Yeah, that must have been why. That's weird, actually. Why can't I run with that? Oh, now I can't. I don't know what the hell's happening. Maybe I was crouched. Um, so yeah, we got all the metal in there. We got a bunch of crystal. We got a bunch of black pearls. Uh, we have all of our black pearls, actually. We need to get more of those soon. Uh, definitely need to go down on... Actually, you know what? We'll probably make up, like, the Tecmosa saddle before we do that. So let me just set source and then transfer. Oh my god, we got all the metal. Uh, I gotta also chuck in that. I'll turn this on right now. We got some stuff up here too. I wonder, can I transfer, will the crystal also transfer? Ah, uh, you know what, hmm. Maybe I'll just use the pull gun. Probably the best option. Um, so pull. Ba -ba oh, oh, cool, it only shows what, uh, what you can pull. I usually actually just use the pull gun and I think it just shows you the whole menu. Or maybe they changed it, I'm not sure. Wait, no, what? What? I'm confused. Why? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll transfer the metal later. It's obviously something weird and bro and broken and wrong with that. I'm, I'm kind of confused. Anyway, what do we have planned for today? Um, a couple different things. There was an update to S+, Plus and basically now they have added a bunch of new stuff here. Let me show you guys really quick. Um, towards the bottom. So previously they had a bunch of tech stuff, but then they put out this update and I was like just on the brink of doing this stuff So I'm glad that they put out the S plus stuff now. They added the Previously they didn't have all this stuff. They added in the S plus tech generator, which actually is like a Lot better. It only takes I think the the fuel is it goes at max range and it only takes one element per 24 hours. And that is actually ridiculous. It's very overpowered, but like on a PvP server, you wouldn't have this mod. So it's kind of handy that we have it on here. It makes it, makes it kind of more convenient, I guess. Uh, but it is still very expensive. Uh, what else did they add? They added in some tech triangular slope pieces. Uh, tech triangle foundations here as well. And then they added in the uh, the underwater pieces, which is good because I was going to do one of these pretty soon here. Uh, so that's that's definitely going to be really handy. What else did they add? Um, oh, they also did something with the transmitter. Yeah, you can teleport to the boss arena using the transmitter now, which is just ridiculous. That is like a hell of a lot easier. I could just make one of these at the base here and I could just like chuck all my rexes into a circle and then just like teleport from here rather than having to walk them all over like I did the other day. That was ridiculous. Uh, what else did they add? They added like um, a couple like different, oh, oh yes. Oh, I forgot about this. Where do I build the other one? Okay, we're probably gonna show this off first. Um, so f first of all, they, you know, the tech teleporter, the massive circle pad thing, they made that a lot smaller. And it's pretty much just a terminal now, apparently. So I guess we'll look into making that. We might, we might also look into making a generator here too. And then they also have like, I think you have to build, yeah, you might have to build it in your inventory. Oh, also they have like a, an automatic sheep, like shearing device thing. I don't, e I, I don't know. We're going to have to check it out. It looks like a wolf or something in the picture. Um, That's not too expensive. We could definitely make one of those. Uh, oh, there it is. Personal teleporter. Basically, what they've done is, 
when you have teleporters around the map, you can actually use this personal teleporter to teleport from wherever you are to one of those teleporters, which it kind of it feels more modded now. Actually, the whole the whole modded it feels a little bit kind of away from vanilla, which is not really what we're looking for. But at the same time, I mean, it's in the mod. I might as well use it. It's definitely gonna make uh, just getting around a little bit easier if I'm like really far away. I can use this, and it does actually consume element whenever you are actually. Like teleporting, it takes element shards, and it takes element shards to make. So I think maybe we'll first of all check out the sheep herder, and then we'll look into all the tech gear now in a couple minutes. Also, guys, hit that like button if you guys are enjoying this video. Really does help me out. Um, what do we need for that? Polymer, and we need. Can I just? No, never mind. There's like a way of doing it. If I wait, if I do that, I'm just pull resources. No, okay, that's gonna. All right, let's uh, let's go around and get some of this stuff. So 40 hide. 20 fiber. It also, I think it takes like raw meat as fuel or something. So 20 fiber. Let's just grab a stack of 200. Screw it. Uh, 40 hide, wasn't it? Just grab half of that. And then we need organic polymer. We definitely have some of that over in our snails over here. So we can just hop over here and grab some of that. Uh, we also got to feed these guys pretty soon. Yeah, definitely need to. Look at that. We definitely got to feed them. I gotta make some tasty cakes, but I gotta travel over to the community to grab some more crops. Uh, oh wait, no, I think I have some. Well, yeah, we'll just do that after. How much was it again? Oh, we have enough. Cool. Alright, well, so basically this thing, it supposedly just automatically just shears all of your sheep, which it's kind of cool, I guess. Let's, uh, let's see, we can put that into our little, um, into our little sheep spot down here. Maybe just, like, put it out here. Oh. <laughs> it's like a person. Oh my god, wait, can I place that down here behind the table? <laughs> it's a, it's like a wolf head with like the gilly body. That's awesome. All right, so it takes raw meat, right? Uh, can I pull raw meat? Oh, no, don't want to do that. Switch to wireless power. What do we have to... Oh, oh, if we make the... Yeah, we'll, we'll switch it to fuel for now, but if we eventually make the... Um the tech generator then that should actually be powered by it I think we have some meat over in mystique here I was out just uh, grabbing some stuff so let me just grab some of this here really quick uh, bam all right we also got a couple of sheep that we got to put back in there so let me see how do you work activate oh my god oh they're all just naked <laughs> look at that he just, it just, sh oh god, whoa, I didn't mean to do that. It just sheared every single sheep in here. Oh, look, at wait, did it do more? Oh my god, did, oh, it got that one. Did, did it get this one over here? It did not. Let me just put this thing on follow. Let's see how close this thing has to be to get sheared. We can actually see this thing being sheared as well. Come on, buddy. Let's get his fall distance changed here. You're on low right now? Nice. Let's watch him being sheared. Any second now, come on. Although it might go on like a timer, maybe it like checks every minute or two. So I'd say it probably would have been done at this stage. So yeah, let me just unfollow then. It should shear any second now. Man, by the way, Arc right now looks great. It feels great. The frames are really good. This new card was a massive, like it was really, really expensive. But it was a massive improvement, and I'm so happy that we did it. And recently this week as well, I upgraded my RAM from uh, 16 gigabytes to 32 gigabytes, and we have one more little upgrade that I've already ordered. It's on its way. It's just taking ages for some reason. Um, I got myself a 500 gigabyte SSD for my like for Arc. Basically, I'm just gonna put Arc all onto that. All my mods and everything should make the game like load quicker and everything so that's gonna be really handy um so a lot of pc upgrades this week um and i know quite a lot of people are looking for some sort of setup thing and i'll probably do something like that at some point here uh it doesn't look like the sheep is being sheared maybe it has to be closer like it's pretty close already i mean if we put it over here it's probably gonna be you know what actually if we could manage to get this thing inside which is gonna be hard because we can't ride on them because we're too heavy can I maybe, like, see this happening? Look, they're growing their stuff back. Are you broke? Deactivate and reactivate. Hello? Oh, did you guys see that? I saw it happen. <laughs> yeah, okay, so maybe it probably goes every, like, five minutes or maybe a half an hour or something. 
Um, but yeah, it eats raw meat. That's really cool because it's like a wolf. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, well, uh, I guess we're gonna leave that for the moment. Uh, we have quite a lot of wool now. I don't really know what we're gonna use that for because we... Oh, by the way, actually, has everybody seen the, the blue and then the red sheep? We have one out here. Oh, he's, oh, he's on the outside. Oops. Ooh, can I get out of here? Uh, let me see. This is the blue and red sheep. <laughs> it looks freaking amazing. It has blue horns, red freaking, like, pelt, and it looks like it's brown underneath, though I don't think it is. It looks weird. Um, definitely an awesome looking sheep. That's two mutations together. That We had a red one, but I think it died actually though, because that wasn't the original one. I think the red one might have died or something, because somehow they keep glitching out of here. I think when one pushes the other, when this thing's loading, it just pushes them outside. And yeah, I, I remember that I I came down here after a couple of sheep died and then I couldn't find that one. So yeah. Anyway, let's head back in here. Let's uh, go ahead and maybe grab ourselves some, um, what are they called? Uh, some tech pieces here. So do we No, Let's not do it in that one. Uh, I'll do it inside of here. Wait, I guess I could also just do it inside of here to be honest All right, let me see. Uh, we want to go into Did I turn on the I think I turned on the forge you guys would tell me right we turned on the forge. I'm pretty sure uh, That is not the <laughs> that's not the teleporter thing. All right, uh, by the way, I know that we can make the Rex out on the Rex saddle on everything, but um, we're not going to do that right now. We're going to do that like in a different episode. Um, I don't want to just rush into just doing everything. All right, let's uh, make up a couple of these shards here because we're going to need it. Uh, what is this? Oh, it's hard to see that. Oh, yeah, there's also like tech uh, behemoth uh, trap doors and different things like that. Really cool stuff. And also there is actually some tech gear platform stuff too, which I can show you at some point here. Um, I know that the tree platform, um, it has like a built-in shield, so we're definitely going to be building some sort of like tree tech base thing. Um, and then also there is the wedge pieces, like what we're on right now. Uh, where are they? Inner wedge. Which is the big wedge? I think this is it. Something to do with like the slope bit on that. I hear it has some sort of like it's like a gate so you can fly in from the top and it just opens and closes for you. I don't know. We're going to check it out eventually here. Definitely excited to check out that stuff. Uh, what do we need again? We were gonna make a a generator and then also uh, one of the teleporters. Do I have enough for both? I better, or else I'm gonna have to wait for some of that metal to smelt up. Okay, let's get the generator going. Uh, where is the teleporter? It's hard to see because it doesn't look like the normal one. Crap, that was a normal generator. Oh, I didn't mean to. I thought that was the S plus stuff. I guess I can... I guess I can grind that up, maybe. That's stupid. I didn't mean to do that. Is that not the S plus stuff? No. Where is S plus? Ah, I made a freaking normal one. That's so stupid. Okay. I thought the very bottom was all S plus. It's okay. I think we have enough. Oh, yeah. But we're probably not going to have enough metal. We're going to have to freaking grind up a tech generator. That's insane. All right. Let's make one of those. <laughs> All right. Uh, what else do we need? We needed the teleporter. Oh, we're going to need more metal. Uh, do I have any more? Metal ingots. Uh, oh, yeah. We got plenty of the fabricator. I forgot. All right. There we go. Uh, so we're gonna just type in teleporter. Oh, we can also get this thing going too, if we can get the, um... There's the cementing paste. What is this? Oh, that's the normal one, and then this is the little terminal thing that they made. So does it cost any different? No, it costs the same, are you kidding? Alright, we're probably gonna need to make another one of these at some point as well. We're gonna need a couple hundred polymer. We're probably gonna put one down at our underwater base. Uh, where do I keep polymer? Oh, in here, right? Where's, is this the polymer? Polymer. Uh, do I not have any? I could have sworn I had some. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Took all this stuff in. Still get kind of like weirdly framey when you try to transfer a bunch of stuff, which is like a c completely on arc's end, which is, I don't know, it's weird. Uh, oh crap, that's not how you spell tele. Teleporter. Uh, didn't mean to. Alright, we got two of those now, and we got our generator, and then we got the other generator that now we have to freaking grind up. Uh, inventory. 
<sighs> I can't believe I made a normal one. And I'm making the S Plus one because it's, it's better, like, and there's no point of not using it. Alright, let's turn that guy off. Okay. So, <laughs> can't believe we're doing this. I have so much stuff in here. Alright. Normal. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, do we not have gas? I need one gas. Uh, freeze up. Well, it looks like arc freeze ups from moving things still happen even with the new graphics card. That's completely like on arc's end though. Definitely not based on my computer. It keeps happening. Whenever you transfer a lot of things, you seem to get like a freeze up like that. You've got quite a lot of metal already smelted. Nice. Uh, let me just grab like 40 gas. Screw it. We have plenty of the stuff. All right. So. Took you in there. Turn on. I can't believe we're doing this. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, do I have the right one? I have the right one. You need to be... Let's just grind all. Oh, it came out as organic polymer. That's so stupid. Did I get element back? No. <laughs> Great. Okay, it's fine. Where do we want to put this generator then? Um, did that not go in my hotbar? Man, day of failures today. Can that not go in my hotbar? Or maybe it can. Oh, we were having, yeah, some sort of, like, server um, issue. Where do we want to stick this thing? I don't even know. I guess we could just move our current one. Like, is this, I, let me see. You know what? I'll keep that. Mm, no, do I? Mm, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where to stick this. Maybe over here. Looks nice. Looks snazzy. I guess we could move it if we want to, but for now we'll just keep it there. Um, so yeah, let's just stick a good bit of this stuff in here because it's going to be running. So what do we have? What is that? 57 element? That should last for 57 days. <laughs> That's insane. Activate power. Oh man, that looks awesome. Alright, uh, <laughs> that looks amazing. All right, so what settings does it have then? Show generator range. Oh my god, look at that. That like covers mostly everything. Do, does it cover the little base down there? I don't think it does. No, it's just short of it. That's okay, I mean we can always just stick some stuff in there, but it covers like everything that's useful here. So that means that I can turn off that generator over there and everything else should just be fine. Let me see. Yep, everything's just powered wirelessly now. That's amazing. I like that. Still get our item collector going. There's a lot of Trudon eggs. Actually, you guys gotta see this. I have way too many Trudon eggs. Like, this is ridiculous. This is all because of that, like, collectors just picking up every single egg. I stopped when I had, like, 300 eggs. Now I've got, like, too many, and I've just been giving them away. I might actually just bring some over to Scorched Dirt just to have. So I guess we can leave that off now. Pretty amazing. And it looks awesome too. I feel like maybe we should stick it in the center though as like some sort of like Maybe we can make like the center of here like the tech area have like a couple of the tech pieces in there um, I guess we can go ahead and just check out these teleporters now And I'll take that too and I need to grab those element shards All right grab all those we got like 80 wow, I didn't think I crafted that many um all right, so let me see. Oh my god, this thing's tiny. Wow, this is amazing. Like, I was thinking that we that we were going to have to make, like, another... Oh, I should probably turn off that range thing. I was thinking that we'd have to make up, like, another... Um, one of those, like, platforms to stick one of our teleporters on. And maybe I still will eventually. Like, I wouldn't mind checking it out, but... Uh, this is going to be amazing. We have, like, a legit teleporter. Uh, what's the range on it, though, I wonder? Oh, that's one thing. I'm not sure if it's going to, like, teleport creatures around me as well. Let's just place it down. Oh, my God. Has it... Uh, rename... Pick up... Teleport. We don't have anywhere to teleport to, so... No, that's not going to work. You need to place down another one, so I guess we can go down to the bottom. But, oh... <laughs> what I will do is I'll rename this one to Syntax Base. Uh... Syntax base. Alright, so we have the teleporter at our base here done. Um, hmm. Okay, let's head down to the underwater base now. And I probably will take Mystique if I can find her. She's out here. 
Nice. We got this thing. Oh, actually, wait, no, we should be able to show this off right now. How does it work? What? I'm so confused. I'm... <laughs> what? I'm a little bit confused as to how this actually works. Like, what the hell is this thing? Oh, you know what that is? That's like the beacon. I heard that there was like a personal beacon or something that you could like set down. I gotta figure out how, how does this thing work? What does it say? Uh, left click to teleport. Right click to drop a beacon. Uh, use element shards as ammo. Okay, so that's the beacon. So basically what that means is that um, I can have somebody can teleport to me. Wait, is this? Oh, look, we just did it. And oh, and then there's the beacon over here too. Syntac uh, teleporter beacon. That is so cool. Let's teleport in here. Which uh, <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, we gotta go down to the to the other base den. We we gotta we just gotta see this thing working. And it cost one element shard per teleport. But I'm wondering, can I teleport on the back of? Are we seriously? Are we having this issue? Like I'm not. My hands are off the keyboard and the mouse. Like I'm not doing anything here. Dyla's like I can turn it and it will just keep walking. Dialas are they're still glitched like that, and I don't know why. Let's just head down to the uh, to the base, and we can figure out if we can teleport with a creature. All right, and I'll bring you guys with me too. Let's get some meat. <laughs> oh my god! So this uh, this whole like S plus tech tier stuff to some people it may seem like overpowered or a little bit not vanilla. I definitely agree with the personal teleporter. That is like way away from what I thought that they'd add in. I thought that they would just like add in just an S plus version of the other what is it, the other teleporter like you know it would still be the same size and everything but of course they had to go the extra mile and make a tiny little terminal which is really handy it's just it definitely saves space and everything but it looks more modded which I don't know if I'm a big fan of that I do like the way I don't have to make a massive platform now but still uh, I'm not exactly sure. But I do like that little sheep herder thingy. That thing's pretty fun. Oh man, the game looks much better right now, by the way. These extra frames are definitely doing it. Let me actually just show you guys. Ooh. How many frames are we getting? We're getting close to 90 frames down here. Let's run around it a little bit. That will definitely drop them down. We're getting a solid, like, definitely over 60 at any point. Like a solid 60 to 70 or so. 75, I think. I just went up by to 75. It's kind of, yeah, we're doing pretty good here. And there's no screen tearing or anything. Maybe it might not look as good on YouTube, but to me it definitely looks amazing. And if you were looking to figure out your FPS, by the way, on PC, type in stat FPS. And you don't have to be like an admin on a server or anything to do that. In case you're wondering, you just it's like a personal command. It's like gamma. Bam, okay. So here's our base down here. I've actually already placed some of the S plus um, ceilings and stuff down here because I was kind of curious. I made up a bunch of them and then I just brought them down. So we're going to have our own personal teleporter down here too. So people can teleport to here. Um, oh, what the hell? Okay, no, that's my guys down there. That was confusing. Um, oh, wow. We seem to be having some sort of issue. There we go. Um, so yeah, people can teleport to here if they want to, which is going to be amazing. Where do I want to even put this? Maybe like... Maybe like right here, I'd imagine. Uh, oh, it needs to be powered. Yes, that may that would make a lot of sense, guys. That really would. Uh, rename. Uh, Mind melt just left. Nice. Syntax water base. Okay. Hmm. Can I wait? Can I stick that? Does that have to take S... Wait, no. Does that have to take the generator power? Because I do have a normal generator over here. Something's attacking. Oh my god. Mosa, please. Please. <laughs> okay, stop. Oh, he's hurt. Why are you hurt? Why is he hurt? Maybe something was attacking? I don't know. And we're flying right now. Alright, uh, let's see if this will work down here. Uh, I'll just place it here for now. We can eventually put a tech um, thingy down here. Oh, yeah, it looks... You know what? Wait. 
Is that on? It's not on. Oh, wow. I didn't even know. Okay. Well, that's silly. I didn't realize that that had run out. Uh, did my kibble spoil? Oh, no. I think I brought my kibble back. No, I still have quite a lot of kibble here. Well, I'm lucky I came down here and checked. <laughs> that was close. Yay, it's work. Oh, wait, no, it's not working. It has to take uh, tech tech uh, thingy power. Okay, well, that's okay, I guess. Where was the range, by the way? Uh, hide pole range. There we go. What are the options on here? Okay. Wait, show range. What? Oh, wait, no. Would this Is this just going to teleport everything? That... I hope it doesn't, because that means that my guys here will just teleport. You know what? I think we're just not going to teleport using this. I think we're going to teleport using our little thing here. We're not going to touch that, because that would actually probably... I'm not sure if it would, but it might actually kill all of my underwater creatures if I use it. So yeah, let's uh, let's maybe get back on Mystique here. We can eventually come down here with an S plus uh, tech generator, and we can place it down here. But actually, let me just show you guys. Because I was actually placing a couple of them just to see what they would look like. And they look really good. The uh, the S plus um, tech ceilings. Which they cost the exact same. It just gives more options so you can actually pick them up and stuff. And uh, they snap easier and everything. So we're probably going to replace mostly everything down here with the S plus tech stuff eventually. But it's going to require a lot of grinding. Like all of these ceilings were very expensive. Like, metal is the thing that I need a lot of, and polymer and crystal. Like, right now, element, we're pretty good, but we're eventually going to have to go get some more. And I'm just noticing all the hexagons are on my hand right there. Do you guys see that? That looks really cool. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let me let me see. Uh, ooh, is this going to work? Oh, uh, so you can't teleport with your mount. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Right, well, it looks like I'm going to have to walk Mystique back because I don't know, I don't want to just leave her here. So that only teleports the character. That's interesting. Hmm. That really sucks, actually, because it would be really cool if you could just bring your mount with you, but you have to use the full teleporter to bring your mount with you. Man, that is, uh, that's interesting. Definitely. Um, okay. So that kind of changes up my perspective on that stuff a little bit. It definitely nerfs it a little bit, because I thought you could just, like, teleport your T-Rex or something somewhere. Uh, well, I guess you can't mount a T-Rex and take something out. It only works with certain dinos, but still. Um, yeah, that, that kind of sucks. Uh, yeah. Right, so what we might do is we might actually have to... Oh, is that... I thought that was an alpha. Let's kill it anyway. <laughs> Oh my god, Mystique, you're just too OP. This thing is actually so leveled up that it's just, like, ridiculously good, and it just kills anything pretty much instantly, almost. Oh, we missed. Yeah. Okay, well, um, maybe not pigs. 162? No wonder. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna get back here. Oh, we got an alpha over here. We might as well fight this thing. I mean, can't do any harm. We're definitely gonna win, so... Okay, what do we got? We got a Alpha Raptor. Nice. Hey, buddy. Mystique's gonna eat ya. And I'm not gonna worry about the loot, by the way. I really, like, I don't think I can get better tools than I'm currently holding. This is a 138, by the way. That's pretty good. It's gonna be some decent XP. Why can't I attack? Okay, there we go. Oh, wow. Come on. Die already. <laughs> 138 female are those raptors hitting it because I swear if they or not raptors brontos if they steal the kill I'd be annoyed come on let me get the kill nah. let me get the kill yes I got him nice and the loot is crap like always <laughs> did I get a level though oh we got a lot of XP just not a level Wait, no, that that was on that was on my character. Yeah, I am. Wait, am I the top or am? Oh no, 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 that was on that was on Mystique. Never mind. Sometimes I can't tell what I if I'm on the top or bottom. I'm not gonna fight their Xenos, by the way, when I have my tech gear on because they can hit the player and that means that they can damage my tech gear and stuff, which is bad. We don't want that. That generator looks really cool. Oh man. Yeah, I think I want to stick all the tech stuff into the center. So we'll definitely move over the generator. I'm not sure where I'll stick it maybe like uh, to the back actually because this is kind of ugly. 
So yeah, I guess we could do that right now. We're gonna waste one element, but uh, it's okay. Pick up. Um, and everything's turned off. And power's coming back on right now. Nice, that actually placed kind of even, slightly, not really. Alright, how does that look? Not bad, not bad at all. Alright, awesome. Uh, everything's powered up, yeah, everything's going pretty well here. Well, that was a pretty good, uh, pretty good update, guys, so far. There's quite a lot more stuff that we can check out. Actually, you know what? I can't teleport down there. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just, like, I'll fly away, and then we'll just teleport back to our base here. Just use this a little bit. So, it's been a long day, guys. We have done a lot of grinding off cam, um, and then we we did all that right there. And uh, we have a lot more tech stuff to be checking out here, and a lot more of the S Plus stuff, too. So, we will be doing that pretty soon. Um, I could use this menu now. Eventually, there will show one down here, but uh, I do have to power that thing. Let's teleport nice <laughs> that is really handy it's I mean that's gonna be handy for getting back to like the uh, the community and stuff if I ever want to how do I just okay well I'm wondering if it's gonna pull everything around me there too that's what I'm kind of worried about I'm gonna have to do some testing but uh, yeah this this update has been pretty fun we have a lot more tech stuff as I said a lot more of the S plus stuff eventually we're gonna be actually building with some of this tech stuff like properly like original buildings and stuff and I talked about the platform eventually we're gonna do something like that have like a different base in the trees we have one down in the water we're gonna have an underwater one as well and then we're gonna have this so that will be four bases on this season that is kind of insane so there will be a lot of grinding probably between this episode and the next one um, if you guys enjoyed this one anyway be sure to beat the crap out of that like button, really does help me out. I hope you guys enjoy checking out all the new S Plus stuff in the update. Um, I'm really excited, actually, to check out some of the uh, some of the other stuff, so definitely stay tuned for that. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> this new graphics card is amazing. <laughs>